What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about. This time actually revolving around Derrick Rose and Jimmy Butler and the Chicago Bulls. It's currently actually being reported that Derrick Rose reportedly has interest in a reunion to the Chicago Bulls this offseason per the score. While when it comes to Jimmy Butler, it was actually said that Jimmy Butler when asked about the idea of returning to the Bulls, he said it's a definite possibility, maybe to Towards the end of my career, who knows? Um, actually, being reported by uh, Cody Westland. So again, I think it'll be very awesome for Jimmy Butler to potentially go back to the Bulls and get his number retired because I feel like there might be some unfinished business there. Yes, he's currently doing really well with the Miami Heat, and in my opinion, I think they might potentially win a championship eventually because you know the Miami Heat will have a lot of ca uh, salary cap eventually, and they currently pretty much have two all-stars on their team who are playing very, very good. And again, they will most likely get the salary cap very uh, soon. And yeah, I just think they're going to be a very, very good team. Also, you know, they could really just try and do this in, you know, the next four years or so. Jimmy Butler will be about 33, 34, I do believe, when he does come out of contract with the um, Miami Heat. And yeah, that's when he could potentially go back to the Chicago Bulls. If he wins a championship or something like that with the Miami Heat, I'm sure he would most likely get his number retired. And then I think he could go to some you know, some business at Chicago and finish off really what happened when he left there because obviously there was a lot of problems with the Chicago Bulls due to the fact that there was reports that the owners were like spying on the players and all this type of stuff. You know, I don't really want to get into it all, but currently the Chicago Bulls are in a very big mess with them really only having one standout player in Zach Levine when the rest of their list is not exactly that great at the moment. And yeah, I think it would be a very interesting thing for um, Jimmy Butler to potentially consider it. But yeah, if things are going that well at Miami, you know, he might eventually decide to re-sign with them and then join the Chicago Bulls in maybe the last year or so in his contract. But Derrick Rose also reportedly being interested in a reunion with the Bulls, I think would be absolutely perfect. I think the Bulls desperately need a point guard, like really, really bad. Like they desperately need one quite a bit with them having, you know, Chris Dunn, who is not exactly the best playmaker. He's a pretty decent defender, and he's been playing a lot of the guard, um, shooting guard position, and even small ball, small forward, which I'm not too sure if I necessarily like. Thomas Sadoransky, as well, is a decent playmaker, but again, he's more of that defensive type of side who can play shooting guard slash small forward. And then Kobe White just has been a very big disappointment as far as this season has really happening. You know, currently averaging 11.1 points, 2.4 assists, and 3.5 rebounds. He's played better at shooting guards. He hasn't really had to play make or anything like that. So, I think the Bulls are in a very bad spot with them not having a solidified point guard. And, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. And I, I do think they need to trade... Chris Dunn, because, yeah, I just don't see how he fits in the team. He's playing small ball, small forward, and he's 191 centimeters. Like, it's absolutely crazy with the Chicago Bulls situation that they're in. They desperately need a point guard, and they desperately need a small forward. And it so happens that both the players that I'm actually currently talking about right now are a small forward and point guard. But, yeah, if Derrick Rose did come to the team, I think it would help out Zach Levine so much more. The defense would be so much better as, yeah, again, they don't necessarily really have a solidified point guard. In my opinion, they even need to trade Laurie Markkinen or try and get his head in the right space because he's not playing good at all this season. Um, Otto Porter Jr. probably needs to, you know, leave in free agency, get a fresh start potentially. Thomas Sadoransky's actually been pretty good for the Bulls this season, finding that role at shooting guard and actually not playing exactly that bad. And yeah, they've got a, a lot of mess right now at the Chicago Bulls. And yeah, I think if they did try and trade for Derrick Rose, that would be a pretty interesting thing for them to potentially do. Obviously, I think they could try and potentially work a deal that would have Laurie Markkinen in it. Like, look, the Detroit Pistons are trying to rebuild. They want younger players and all that type of stuff. Laurie Markkinen, who hasn't ha been having a great season at all, could potentially look for a fresh start. And they could potentially, you know, trade him for Derrick Rose and maybe another player and a couple of picks here and there as well. And, you know, they probably wouldn't get a first-round pick because the Detroit Pistons are going to be pretty bad. But who really knows? They could try and work out something where they get a couple seconds, maybe some pr a protected pick or something like that, because Laurie Markkinen still has so much potential. 
He's only 22 years old, turning 23, and we've seen what he can do in his career when, you know, he's playing in the previous season, actually playing very good, so they're not just going to be able to trade Derek Rose for him. They're going to have to put quite a bit of picks um, to try and get Mark, and I think could be a potential deal. And then, yeah, that would obviously leave the... Um, Chicago Bulls potentially needing a power forward as well. But yeah, who knows? They could do well in the draft and potentially get Obi Toppin, Jane McDaniels or something like that and play small forward or power forward. So yeah, it could kind of be resolved when you're looking at a bull standpoint as well but I feel like they do need to trade for Derrick Rose I think that'd be a very good idea and he's a franchise player for him and bringing him back to the Chicago Bulls would be a very interesting thing it's something that I think would be very cool to potentially see actually happen and he's on a very cheap deal and someone that I think Zach Levine would really love to be partnered with and yeah as far as Zach Levine's currently going he's currently averaging 25.3 points 4.1 assists and from 38 8.5% from three of 4.8 rebounds in 34.5 minutes. Imagine if he actually had a decent point guard that can play make with him. He could be so much better on the team as well. So I think that, you know, him partnering up Derrick Rose with Zach Levine could be a potential very good idea. And I think, yeah, Jimmy Butler potentially going to the Chicago Bulls at the end of his career would be a pretty cool thing to see him potentially do and get his number retired as well. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO such vlogging channels. Links for them are in the description down below. And don't forget to also go check out my podcast as well. Links for that is in the description down below where I talk about all NBA and AFL content and just sports related content, um, content in general. So definitely go check that out. Links for that are in the description down below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.